We got a duck out here. You want to run a check on him? He's good. You're in. Bubbles, wait oh, for me. Oh, hold it right there. Whoa. Hey, you just let my rubber duck in. Bubbles, I'm with him. Can you let me in? To get into this club, you need 10,000 TikTok followers. 10,000? You have that many uh, followers, yeah. sir? Duh. Now, can you let me in? One moment. I'm gonna need a TikTok API background check down here. Can you pull a follower count for a- uh, Justin Stolpe. Uh, Justin Stolpe. Bubbles, 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 get out here, let me in. 9,113 followers. What? I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot let you enter this club. You do not have 10,000 followers. You let Bubbles in and he doesn't even have a TikTok account. What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Before we hit the computer and start coding, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like if you're enjoying the content, and drop a comment let me know what you want to see coded up next. In this video, we are using the TikTok API to get a user's information. We're going to be getting their follower count, following count, likes count, profile picture URL, display name, and more. Now, before we can proceed to get the user's information, we need a user access token so we can request the user's information through the TikTok API on that user's behalf. If you missed our previous video where we show you how to get a user's access token go check it out get an access token come back here and you'll be all set to go as always links will be in the description below to things like the github repository the tiktok api documentation and i will see you on the computer What's up everyone and welcome to the video. In this video, we're getting the user's information with the TikTok API endpoint user info. By the end of this video, we're gonna have a little web page that looks something like this. Get user info with access token. We are going to pass in an access token to the endpoint. We're gonna get back a bunch of info on the user and we're gonna display it out. Here you can see I got my profile image, my name, my bio, my followers, following likes, a link to my TikTok page. And then down here, I just simply dumped out the entire response into a text area for reference while we are coding. And so our response here, data user, in the user uh, array, we have all the things that we are displaying out above. Here we have some IDs, we're getting the video count, URL to the profile picture, here's my description, display name, follower count, following count, and so on. This is just the response for reference while we're coding. Now before we start coding, we need to head over to the TikTok API PHP SDK on GitHub, which I am currently working on. And I've just added the functionality to get a user's information. Here you can see the readme will tell you how to install it. You can do a composer install, composer request and then all you have to do is you require the vendor autoload.php file and it will be loaded up for you in your script. Otherwise, if you don't want to do Composer, you don't have it, whatever, uh, you can just do a git clone of the TikTok API PHP SDK and then you just have to require the autoload.php file that is in the source uh, TikTok folder and that will take care of loading the entire SDK for you. So over in my local host, my TikTok API folder here, I went the Composer out. I have my Composer file right here. And back in our vendor folder, you You'll see there's my JSTOPI folder, my TikTok API PHP SDK folder, the source, and the TikTok folder, which is where all of the SDK code lives. Now, if you were to go the no composer route, all you'd be essentially be doing is checking out the repository, which is this folder right here into your main folder, which in my case would be the TikTok API folder. So you'd have a folder just like this. And then all you have to do is do a require on this folder here, the source folder, the TikTok folder, and this auto loader right here. Require this autoload.php file in the top of your script and that will take care of loading the entire SDK for you and that is how you do it without Composer. So let's open up my user info file here and since I went the Composer route I just have to specify the vendor folder slash autoload Composer. Now if you were not using Composer you would just require the path to the TikTok API PHP SDK slash source slash TikTok slash autoload. Just like that. Now the other require we want to do in our user info file is our defines file. This is gonna hold some of our global defines like our client key, our app ID, our user token, and anything else that we need along the way we'll place in our defines file because we'll just keep including this at the top of the files where we need it. So if I open up the defines here, you see I have my client key, secret, redirect theory, access token. Uh, for this, all we need to worry about is our user access token right here. So you're gonna replace this user access token with the access token you got from the previous video where we learned how to log user in and get them an access token. So off screen, I am going to update that with my access token uh, so you guys can't see it. And then I'm gonna close that defines file. And then back in our user info, we're gonna go ahead and require our defines.php file. So now we have access to our user access token define, which is the only define we'll need for this video. Now that we're all set up in the code, we have our defines and we've checked out the TikTok API PHP SDK. We're all set to head over to the wiki 
and we're going to look at the endpoints user info. This will give us the code snippet we need in order to get the user's info. Here's the code snippet right here. We're going to go ahead and copy this right over into our user info.php file. So now let's go through this code snippet and see what it's actually doing and what we need to fill in and update according to what we want to get back. Up here after requires, we are specifying what we want to use from the SDK. First, we want to use the user class, and then we want to use the params. First thing we need to set up is our config array. Here is where we specify the access token. If we copy our define that we have defined in our defines file and replace this placeholder right here, just like that, now our config array is set up with the access token for that user. Then we're going to instantiate the user by calling new user, passing along our config array right into that user. Next comes the parameters we want to request back from the user. Now before we go into specifying what we want back here in the array, let's go over to the TikTok API documentation so you can get a better understanding of how you are able to request these through your app. Over at developers.tiktok.com, click on your app and it will take you to your app details page. And in the left hand side over here, you'll see a scopes section under the products. We're going to click on scopes. And this will take us to the scope section where it tells you what scopes your app has access to and what scopes are approved by TikTok. Here you see I have user info basic, user info profile, user info stats, video upload, and they've all been marked approved over here. If there's a scope you want and it's not approved, you have to click the edit scopes button here where you can toggle what scopes you want. Now, if you are toggling a scope on that you want, you will have to submit your app for review and that could take a few days. And then once it finally says approved over here, then you have access to that scope. Each of these scopes has different fields that you can request. And only if your scope is approved, can you request those fields. For example, let's just take the follower count over here. The scope required for the follower count is user.info.stats. So what you do is you come over to your app here and you look at the user info stats and we see that that's approved. So we know that we can request that field back when getting user's info. Further going into the documentation over here on display API, get user info. Uh, this is the entire documentation on the endpoint. If we scroll down here, here is the user object. All the fields that you can request back are listed here in this table. There is the field, the type, a description, and then the authorized scope. So for every field that you want to request back, you can look over here and you can see the scope. Let's find our follower counts in this list here. There's our follower counts and it says user.info.stats is required. So you just have to make sure that for the fields you want to request back, you have the correct scopes approved by TikTok in your app. Back to the code, since I have all these scopes approved for my app, we're just going to request all of them. Then all we have to do is pass our params into our user info and call the get self on our user that we instantiated right up here. That will return us all the info on the user that we've requested here in our fields array. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a text area here and we're going to spit out our user info that we got back right up here. Now in our browser, when we hit our user info, here is all of our information dumped out into our text area. Looks like our access token worked, our call went off, and we got back everything that we requested right here in our user array. We got our profile URL, a large one. We got our description, our name, likes, avatar URL, avatar URL 100 pixels, follower count, following count, if you're verified or not, the open ID, profile deep link, a link to TikTok, union ID, and a video count of how many videos the user has posted. The error section, everything went well, and and then we have our debug, which is provided by the SDK. It just spits back everything. So in case you have an error somewhere, you can really see what's going on by checking out the call that went off to TikTok. Here we have our version. The client was the curl request. You see the raw response right here, the access token that was sent along. Here's the actual request object. We have an access token. The method was get. The endpoint right here was user info. And the params here are what we sent to the endpoint. So that array of fields that we specified in the params array, the SDK took care of creating creating a comma separated list for us of each of those fields, which is what TikTok requires when you make the call. And then finally, this URL right here is the full URL generated by the SDK. And this URL right here is exactly what TikTok requires as noted over here in the TikTok documentation for getting user info. Now all we have left to do is sprinkle a little uh, HTML and CSS in here and make it look pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and copy over what I've already coded up. This isn't a HTML or CSS video by any means. So let's go ahead and get that copied over. Now all of our HTML is styled up nice and pretty. If we refresh our page, we get a nice looking website right here where we have our user info that has been grabbed with our access token. We have the user's profile picture, their name, their description, their followers count, following count, likes count, a link to TikTok. 
And here's my account on TikTok. We can verify here that the information on TikTok matches what we got back in the API. Here we got our, all of our accounts, they match. We got our description, our display name, our profile image. Everything is matching what I have displayed out right here. And at the bottom is our user info in our little text area for reference while we're coding. And that is how you get our user's info with the TikTok API using the TikTok API PHP SDK. We used our access token that we got in our previous video. We set up and required our TikTok API PHP SDK here uh, with Composer. Also show you how to do it without Composer. Then we got our code snippet here from the wiki on GitHub, filled it in with what we needed, our user access token. We specified the fields we want to get back for the user. And then we made the API call by calling the get self function. And then we have all the information we need from TikTok in our user info variable right here. Sprinkle a little HTML, CSS, make it look pretty. And that's how you get a user's info with the TikTok API PHP SDK. That is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. As always, links will be in the description below to things like the SDK. Uh, the front end will be in my blog code repository. I'll include links to the TikTok docs as well. And that's going to do it. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment down below, and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.